All right, so if I look at number one, I'm asked to find the first five terms of the sequence a sub n equals 72 divided by n factorial. So to find my first term, I'm just going to plug in 1 for n. So 72 divided by 1 factorial. Well, 1 factorial is just 1. So 72 divided by 1 is 72. So I know my first term is 72. If I find my second term, I plug in 2 for n. So I get 72 divided by 2 factorial. 2 factorial is 2 times 1, which is 2. And 72 divided by 2 is 36. If I plug in 3, I get 72 divided by 3 factorial. Well, 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. And 72 divided by 6 is 12, I think. Okay, if I plug in 4, I get 72 divided by 4 factorial. So 4 factorial. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 24. And 72 divided by 24 is 3. And then lastly, if I plug in 5, I get 72 divided by 5 factorial. 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 120. And 72 divided by 120 gives me 0. Point Six. Okay, so to find your terms, you just plug stuff in. If I look at example two, I'm given the sequence one, negative one half, one third, negative one fourth, one fifth, etc. And I'm supposed to write an expression for the nth term of the sequence. So if I label my terms, it's my first, second, third, fourth, and fifth term that they give me. And so I need to identify some type of pattern in my sequences. And so the first thing that I can identify is that whatever term I'm using, I'm dividing it by that number. So I know my sequence is going to be divided by n. The second thing that I notice is that I'm alternating positives and negatives. Okay, and whenever that happens, you either end up with negative 1 to the n or negative 1 to the n plus 1 as part of your equation. And so it depends on which sequence is negative. If your first term is negative, you use negative 1 to the n power. If your second term is negative, use negative 1 to the n plus 1. So since in this case my second term is the first term that ends up being negative, I know that my numerator is going to be negative 1 to the n plus 1. So my whole term is negative 1 to the n plus 1 divided by n. If I look at number 3, I'm asked to simplify the factorial expression 7 factorial, 6 factorial, over 6 factorial, 8. Yes, the 6's cancel each other out right away. So then we're left with 7 factorial over 8 factorial. Well, 7 factorial is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And 8 factorial is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Yep, and everything 7 and under cancel. So my 7s, 6s, 5s, 4s, 3s, 2s, and 1s all cancel. So I'm just left with 1 on top and 8 on the bottom. Pretty straightforward. Number four says find the sum of the finite geometric series from one to four of one half to the i exponent. And so your formula 
for the sum of a finite series is a sub 1 times 1 minus r to the n divided by 1 minus r. Okay. I know that r is going to be 1 half. And since there's not a number in front of my 1 half, I know that a sub 1 is equal to 1. And n is the number that you end with. So I get 1 times 1 minus 1 half to the fourth power divided by 1 minus 1 half. Okay, well, what's 1 half to the fourth power? Okay, so 0 0.0625. So I end up with 1 minus 0 0.0625, and 1 minus 1 half is 0 0.5. Okay, what's 1 minus 0 0.0625? Nine three seven five. So zero point nine three seven five divided by zero point five times one. What does that simplify to? One point eight seven five. So your sum would be one point eight seven five. All right, if I look at number five, write an expression for the nth term of a geometric sequence, then find the tenth term. Okay, well, your nth term formula is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. Okay, well, n is the number you're looking for, so I know that my n is 10. I need to find my a sub 1 and find my r. So to get from 6 to 1, I know that I'm dividing by 6, which is the same thing as multiplying by 1 6. You have to change division to multiplication. Okay. So if it's dividing, make it a fraction. So I know that 1 6 is my r. Then I need to find my a sub 1 by working backwards. So I know that the opposite of dividing by 6 is multiplying by 6. So if I'm working backwards, I'm going to multiply by 6. 6 times 6 is 36. 36 times 6 is 216. So my first term is 216. So if I plug all of that in, I get 216 times 1 6 to the 10 minus 1 exponent. Well, 10 minus 1 is 9. So I get 216 times 1 6 to the ninth power. And then what does that simplify to? Four it does not simplify to four. Unless I did it wrong, it doesn't simplify to four. You have to do the 1 6 to the 9th first and then take it times 2 16. That's what you did. Okay. Do we get anything other than 4? Definitely not 4. So, 2 times 10 to the negative 5, which is the same thing as 0 0.00002. Approximately. You can write it either way. Okay. 
and then lastly, number six told us to find our first five terms of the geometric sequence where a sub 1 is 2 and r is 15. Well, r is your ratio that you're multiplying by, so now I'm multiplying by 15. So I already have my first term, a sub 1 equals 2. So I just need to find my next 4. Well, 2 times 15 gives me 30. So I know my next term is 30. 30 times 15 is 450. What's 450 times 15? Okay, 6,750, and then to find your last term, you take that times 15. 6,750 times 15 gives me... Hundred and one thousand two hundred and fifty. So those would be your first five terms.